we will solve integration question integration of ax plus b whole upon cx plus d whole square dx we shall be doing it in two different and easy ways see the first step will be let ax plus b which is the numerator of the given question be equal to lambda cx plus d plus mu so you have to learn it a little that the numerator be put equal to lambda cx plus d plus mu okay now you open this bracket you will be getting in the left hand side ax plus b is equal to lambda cx plus lambda d plus mu right now please equate the x terms what are the x terms put ax is equal to lambda cx when you put ax is equal to lambda cx xx gets cancelled and you are left with a is equal to lambda c okay rest of the left hand side this term will be equated to the rest of the right hand side this means put b is equal to lambda d plus mu this is what we have done here b is equal to lambda d plus mu taking this equation as the base find the value of mu so what you going to do is take lambda d towards this side of the equation you will be getting mu is equal to b minus lambda d okay see let me consider this first a is you came till here right a is equal to lambda c and what is the value of lambda this c will go towards this side of the equation and you are left with lambda is equal to a upon c one part is solved and now i was talking about this part from this equation kindly calculate the value of mu which will be mu is equal to this will go towards this side of the equation and you have mu is equal to b minus lambda d okay now what is this lambda this lambda is a upon c kindly put this value of a upon c so you will get b minus a upon c d right now in the next step please take the common lcm and your value comes out to be bc minus ad upon c so in this slide you derive the value of lambda which is a upon c and you derive the value of mu which is bc minus ad upon c okay so where did we begin from let's take a quick recap on the process which we are moving first you put ax plus b is equal to lambda cx plus d plus mu equating the x terms this and this be equated and the rest of the items please equate them doing this equation you will get the value of lambda and you will get the value of mu let's see what happens next now this is the repetition what we did in the previous slide you know the value of lambda and you know the value of mu now in the given question the question says integration of ax plus b upon cx plus d whole square right now since you have assumed ax plus b is equal to lambda cx plus d plus mu put the value of ax plus b you get this equation right i repeat because this is the equation you had assumed the first step was put ax plus b is equal to lambda cx plus d plus mu so this is what you did here you just substituted the given value this by this which you assumed it okay now what will you do is you please give this lcm separately this is lambda cx plus d upon cx plus d square plus mu upon cx plus d whole square so you are separating the terms take this lambda outside of the integration sign you are left with lambda integration of 1 upon cx plus d okay why because this cx plus d gets cancelled with cx plus d ka square you just have 1 upon cx plus d dx okay now the second term is mu integration of 1 upon cx plus d whole square dx now here separately i have calculated the value of the second term mu integration of 1 upon cx plus d whole square so this you can write as mu integration of cx plus d whole minus 2 because 
this square is positive in the denominator when it will go in the numerator it will turn negative so what will be the integration mu will be copied as it is cx plus d minus 2 plus 1 4 upon minus 2 plus 1 multiplied by c which is the coefficient of x okay so your answer will be mu this c will remain as it is this minus which you are deriving it it will come here and it is mu upon c cx plus d okay now you solve this part what will you get you will get lambda upon c because this is the coefficient of x it will come in the denominator log of cx plus d it is very simple because it is 1 upon cx plus d the integration will be log of cx plus d upon c okay now integration of this portion i have already calculated separately integration of this portion is calculated here so you pick the value this value and you write it here is it clear what we have done is we just calculated the integration of this item plus integration of this item right now in the last step replace the original value of lambda what was lambda lambda was a upon c so put it here so this lambda upon c will come out to be a upon c square log of cx plus d okay and now also substitute the value of mu which was bc minus ad upon c so you are doing the same thing this mu will come bc minus ad upon c this one c is already there so you will have c square multiplied by 1 upon cx plus d plus c this is the answer to the question first way done let's move to the second way now in this method first step is make the coefficient of x unity in the numerator in this numerator you, what is the coefficient a your step is to make the coefficient of x as 1 so what you will do is in the numerator kindly take a common when you will take a common and put the brackets you will be left with x plus b upon a bracket close the denominator will remain as it is dx is it clear what i did i just took away a because i have to make the coefficient of x equal to 1 and so this is what I did. Now the second step says in the numerator make c as the coefficient of x because in the denominator you can see it is c here right so you have to make the coefficient of x as c multiply the whole term by c upon c right now the c in the denominator will come here and the numerator also will be getting multiplied by c so you will get cx plus bc upon a and a which is shown here will move out of the integration sign is it clear a upon c integration of cx plus bc upon a whole upon cx plus d whole square dx now the next step is please add and subtract d in the numerator because you see carefully in the denominator you have cx plus d so you have to make this cx you have to make this term cx plus d so what you will do is you will put plus d and minus d in the numerator now combine this cx plus d in the bracket and you will be left with plus bc upon a minus d the denominator will be remaining as it is now now you, what you do is you make it separating the integrals what you will do a upon c integration of 1 upon cx plus d dx integration of bc minus ad in upon c 1 upon cx plus d whole square dx so you just separated the integrals now very simple a upon c integration of 1 upon cx plus d will become this will go as log log of cx plus d upon c so this c will become c square okay and here bc minus ad upon c as it is what will be the integration of 1 upon cx plus d power 2 it will go as 1 upon cx plus d multiplied by c so this c turns out to be the c square plus c so i have shown you two ways to do this one question in case you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comment section please like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed